basically it's just keeping faith, uh, you know, pushing yourself, uh, you know, and never giving up. You know, just keep pushing yourself and basically just visualize being at the end of that road. Derek Sherrod and the Packers were very quiet about the brutal leg injury Sherrod suffered in 2011, his rookie season, and the complications he endured as he tried to get back onto the field. Perhaps Sherrod was more patient than many Packer fans awaiting his return. Derek, who's hoping for his first full season of good health in the NFL, says he's usually very upbeat. Like a lot of times you see me smiling and laughing, and cracking jokes and just singing randomly. I got to know it, so uh, yeah, you know, uh, you can never, you know, really catch me in a bad mood. I'm always cheerful and, you know, trying to get, uh, you know, the people around me to feed off me and, and uh, you know, just, you know, put them in a better mood. Even through the tough times, I'm always doing something to just, uh, you know, put a smile or a laugh on somebody. A standout player and a strong student as a kid in Mississippi, Sherrod remembers his computers teacher from eighth grade as being an inspirational leader. She was, she was a, you know, a pretty tough teacher, but she made class fun. She did a pretty good job of making their, you know, making their students believe in themselves. Sherrod went on to an excellent college career and earned his degree in business administration at Mississippi State. He believes the desire for success is key to reaching the next level. I probably define a pro as somebody who is very good at the craft or the job, and, um, and uh, they don't have to be the best at it, but the difference is that they want to be the best at it. They put in the time and effort uh, when nobody else is and uh, making sure that they're doing everything that they can in order to achieve better success in that field. Sherrod's performance is watched closely whenever he gets onto the field. Packer fans share Derek's hope that he'll return to the level that made the Packers draft him in the first round. Whenever you do, you know, go through the long haul and, uh, you know, see yourself at the end and you finally do reach it, there's definitely no better feeling.